Now I know what you might be thinking, Fido, that's that's not a real infinite swing, and uh, you might be right, but uh, guess what? This one is, and uh, you can learn how to do these on any wall, all right? Because there's no pixel spots. It's not about pixel spots, guys. It's just about your understanding of where to click, all right? Where to click? How does the geometry work? And you will be able to do it on every single wall, every single time. Okay, because it's just about the angle. If you understand the angles, you can do it everywhere you like. Now let's start with the easiest spot, which is the dragon pixel. All right, and this is a good introduction course to infinite swinging. Now what you need to notice is that this wall at the dragon is flat. Okay, and step one of infinite swinging is we want to come at a at a straight in a straight line. We want to come um, at a 90 degree angle. All right, so uh, step one is we need to position ourselves in line with the wall and walk in a straight line like this okay the walls like this the wall is a uh, straight line and we walk like this boom so we, we click right there right on the edge of the wall and we wait until we see that our character has clipped into terrain okay when you see that your character clicked into the uh, clips into the terrain you know it's a good spot to uh to do the infinite swing now step two is to center our camera all right that's easy as that step two you center your camera and you find the pixel spot in this case the pixel spot is right here it's this little dark patch on the dragon um you can zoom in your screen if you're struggling with it but uh, that's basically it. It's pretty generous. You can put your cursor anywhere there. All right, and that's step two done. We just put our cursor there and we, we move our hands away from the mouse. Step three is to press the right buttons. Okay, and the right buttons are E, right click, like this. So we gotta press E and then right click straight away and we'll do the swing. Now, if the dragon is alive, it will actually um, not let you infinite swing. You will only be able to swing for two to seven seconds. Um, until it dies, but once the dragon dies, you cannot be interrupted. So you will actually infinitely swing, even if there's people in this pit, you will still infinitely swing, um, even if there's minions or, um, you know, like a raptor camp or something like that, you cannot get knocked off by the coding unless uh, there is a large monster, like there's blue buff or red buff that you're hitting, or you're hitting an objective. In that case, it's only two to seven seconds. So most of the time, it's infinite swing, and uh, it's, it's pretty much as easy as that. Walk in a straight line into the wall. Make sure your character clips into the terrain. Step two, find the right angle. Step three, press E, right click. All right, and it looks like this, E, right click. E, right click. That's all you're doing, guys. E and into the right click. That's all I'm doing. E, right click. It's it's as simple as that. Uh, pretty much back to back, pretty much simultaneous uh, with a little bit of a break in between. Now, the uh, Rift Herald spot is the same. It's the same wall. The reason why I like it is because it's pretty much identical. So we're going to do the same thing. We're going to walk into it in a straight line. We're going to walk into this wall. The wall is flat. So we're going to walk in a straight line. Once we get to the wall, all right, we're going to press our S key. Uh, we can see that we're again in the right spot when we clip into the wall a little bit. You can see that when my character is not attacking Rift, I am clipped into the wall slightly with my left leg. And then the spot is the, right here. We center our camera. Step two, the spot's here. We put our we put our cursor right over the spot that we wanna uh, we wanna swing. It's right on the tip of this white, you know, the edge of this white, whatever this is, crevice. Um, and we just press E, right click. Okay, and we've got that spot. 100% um, of the time you'll be able to get it. The Rift Herald is alive, same thing as the Dragon. If the Rift Herald is alive, it's gonna knock us off. And we can only do it for two to seven seconds, uh, depending on how generous the uh, the coding is. I think it's pretty random. But once it's dead, you can see I am here permanently. You will not get knocked off. So if somebody is in the, you know, if somebody is in the, uh, the Rift Pit, if somebody is in Dragon, like especially after somebody takes Baron, a lot of the time, you know, if people have no way to leave, they'll go in the back of the pit and they'll take their last stand. You can do this and you will infinite swing. So um, these are the easiest spots, but the most important concept that I want you guys to understand is this one, right? This, the wall is flat. We're going to walk in a straight line because if you get the hang of this, you will be able to do any wall on Summoner's Rift. All right, so let's build on what we already know. Uh, in order to do the infinite swing on any wall in Summoner's Rift, we first need to find an eligible one, terms and conditions apply. So an eligible wall will be a flat wall that we can walk in a straight line, right? That was our step one, that is still exactly the same. But now there's an extra condition, all right? There's step 1.5, all right, 1B. And that is, this wall needs to have an edge, all right? So if we try to do this on this wall, it will not work, right? If we stand in the middle, it's never gonna work because we need to be on an edge. So three conditions now for step one, right? Flat wall, walk in a straight line, and stand near the edge. So if the if the edge is like this, we want to be standing somewhere here, anywhere here, you know, pretty much right up against the edge, but not past the edge, guys. It's important that you actually do not stand here. If you stand past the edge, past this this line, you will not be able to do it. All right. So you got to be standing behind behind the terrain, um, and near the edge. Uh, right at the intersection sort of thing somewhere here is totally fine and uh, obviously we do want to clip into the terrain if we can that will tell us um that we're in the right spot so in this wall for example i would walk up to the edge so here you could tell right by our framework we are in the wrong spot right because this is where the edge is and we are standing in that pink area 
too far to the right. Okay, so if I, if I did that and I saw my character do that, I would just readjust and I would do the same thing. Uh, boom, okay, I need to click more to the left, boom. So this is actually a pretty good spot because we are uh, kind of close to the edge, right? We're pretty close to the edge, um, but we're not actually uh, past the edge and our character you can see is kind of clipping, my, my left leg is clipping into the wall. Okay, so this is a great spot. Now we can move on to step two. Step two is we center our camera as always, but now we don't have a pixel spot to do guys. So how do you tell where you're supposed to click all right and the good thing by the way step three doesn't change we just do the e auto for step three and that's done and dusted so it's just step one and two that you have to adjust uh, and all we have to do is we have to click in a straight line like this so click in a 90 degree angle like this that's all you guys have to do just click somewhere here um i would say you know within auto range of your champion kind of like anywhere like this is kind of the distance in this distance you want to click, but the angle is the only thing that matters, right? It's important that you 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 click in a straight line. So you can see where my cursor is. Boom! It's done every single time. Every single wall, E right click, and you're done. So let's go through all the steps again. All right. So step one that we went through: flat surface, straight line. Step two is we want flat surface with an edge, and we need to make sure that we are not standing past the edge. All right, we're standing close to the edge, right? We don't want to be here. We're standing close to the edge, all right, but we're not going past it. So somewhere here, and step two is we want to swing in a 90 degree angle, right? And we just want to click to the right of our character. So if we're standing on the right edge, we want to click to the right. You know, if we were trying to do this on this edge, for example, uh, then we would obviously click to the left. We would do the same technique. We would stand somewhere here, and we would click in the straight line to the left. So let's try it again together. We walk up to the wall at the right angle. We move our camera, E, right click, done and dusted guys. And you can infinite swing here. These are pretty good spots. You know, if somebody's coming out of Fog of War, fantastic. And this concept will work in every single wall. If you can just practice this concept every single wall, let's just find another wall. This is a great wall, right? This is a flat wall. Okay, what do we learn? We want to be near the edge, right? So this is a flat wall like this. We want to be near the edge. So we want to be somewhere here, but not past this area. All right, not past this area. And uh, we want to walk up to it in a straight line like we usually did. So we walk up to the wall at the straight line. We can see, look, our left leg is kind of clipping into the terrain there, which is perfect, right? And then we just want to press our E at a 90 degree angle. Now, if the way, if the, if the wall curves like this, you might have to slightly um, click it up. So instead of a 90 degree angle, you might have to slightly click higher but you'll get the hang of this with some walls and you can see boom just it's it's completely free so it just depends on the curve of the wall if this wall was going like this for example then we could just click like we we did before we could click a 90 degree angle because this wall kind of curves inwards we have to do this angle like you know we have to click like on on this on this angle from the wall so we want to do the 90 degree angle not from our champion actually but from the from the wall let's do another wall let's give you another example right so you understand so this is this looks like a great wall as well right it's kind of flat and then it curves out and then the wall you know we can see where the wall curves we want to do a 90 degree angle from where the wall curves so we're going to be clicking somewhere here we're going to be clicking somewhere on this line this is going to be our um our step two line all right somewhere here we're going to be clicking so we're going to approach it the same way the wall is flat we walk in a straight line boom Center our camera, and we're going to move our, our cursor at a 90 degree angle from the wall like this. 90 degree angle. And we're there, guys. Every single time. If you just understand the geometry, the, the math behind it, you will get it every single time. You'll be infinite swinging. People will be peeing you. They'll be so excited. You'll look like an Arkshan main. It's just such a fun thing to do. Let's let's look at some other walls, some very useful ones in mid lane, for example. If my minions don't end the game, let's... um. Fuck. If you're enjoying watching this video, please hit that subscribe button, it helps out a ton. So let's look at some practical solutions, how you can use this infinite swing to actually solo win your games. Let's say you're chewing in this bush and you see the enemy team has invaded your red buff, okay? And what you can do is you can actually just proxy the entire mid wave uh, before your mid laner is going to get back to lane and, and just deny him all that all those creeps. So this spot is really, really great. We walk in a straight line uh, into the wall and we do our E right click, right? And uh, we can... We can use this to just insta-push this wave. They're not expecting the mid's walking back right now. Meanwhile, you're just spinning to win, all right? And uh, he's going to walk this way, and you just kind of giga-chat him off the wave and make him lose XP by walking the long way around. So it's like a really practical solution that you can use level 1, where it's only 140. You could see it was 140, and I already killed the wave. So the mid would be coming back through either this way or, you know, this way. And the great thing about your champion is that you don't really need your your spells to do damage. Like, if, if the other guy walks in here and you can just auto them with your passive, you will probably still win this, 
right? And you pretty much get a huge advantage mid. So that's a practical example of, of how to do it. Uh, but let's just look at the spot, right? Just to catch the next wave very easily, walk up to the wall, stand near the edge, 90 degree angle, done. Walk up to the other side of the wall, we can practice. That's the beautiful thing about this, guys. If you understand it, you can do it on any wall, you know, at any angle, same thing, boom. Uh, we can do, you know, these kind of walls are great as well. Flat wall. What's the what's our what's our framework? Flat wall like this, not further than this. And then because the wall, you can see how the wall like curves this way. So our angle is actually going to have to be a little bit, a little bit steeper like that to get that 90 degree, uh, 90 degree slope. Let's follow the rules. Step one: walk into the wall, center our camera, get the angle at the angle. You know, get the get the, the thing, and there we go. It's done. I think there was something there in front of me, but. Walk up, boom. Now, if you fall off, that means that you did the angle slightly wrong. That's totally fine. You just adjust your mouse. Like here, we fell off, which means that we were a little bit, you know, that wasn't the 90 degree angle. That was like too too shallow, right? So we just need to adjust our angle slightly, adjust where we're clicking slightly, and you can learn on the fly. But you know, like as long as your animation starts, you know you're doing it correctly. You just need to make a small adjustment, and there we go. And we'll be able to infinite swing here permanently every single wall same thing this wall is great though we can see that we can pretty much be right on the edge like we can clip into the terrain at any point walk up what's the wall guys angle not past it but on the edge great 90 degrees what's it gonna be this is the angle 90 degrees somewhere here so we're gonna center our camera put our e put our mouse there done like it's just so easy guys get the hang of this you'll be able to do it at any wall walls for example again we can see this is a flat wall right so what's our what's our theory boom we're standing right near the edge but not too far off the edge and what's our angle going to be guys like this so we're going to click somewhere here all right that's simple as that we click somewhere here let's let's level up our ability center our camera remember to center your camera every time and we've got the wall spot and once the tier t1 tower is dead you can look for spots like this again walk up to the wall flat wall uh, if it pushes you to the wrong side all good you just make sure that you're in the correct spot you know, done. And if you're getting knocked off again, like if we got it knocked off there, that means that we just didn't get the angle right. So that means that the angle that we went for was too, it was too wide. Wall goes like this. Boom. That was the angle that we clicked at. So it's obviously bad. So we need to click somewhere here because again, that's the 90 degree angle that we want. So we, that's the adjustment that you'd make is you would just click somewhere, somewhere different, right? And you're not going to fall off. So just, just use this like understanding of where the angles are and how if you if you fall off how you have to slightly adjust your angle and you'll be able to infinite swing eventually you'll be able to find the spot to actually uh, swing forever um, and get the sweet spot but these kind of spots are really great as well guys walls like the best walls to do it on is walls where you can do both sides right because that gives you a little bit of room for error you know like you walk up to this wall what do we say near the edge but not past the edge and uh, the wall is pretty flat so we can just do a 90 degree a 90 degree click and that should work for us um, if you get knocked off like this that means that you click too close to the wall so click it a little bit for or you stood too close to the wall so click it a little bit further away and then you won't get knocked off uh, but as long as you start that animation you know that you're in the right spot same thing around this side you know there's no difference really it's just we walk into the wall we can see that you know because we're standing kind of like the wall isn't flat we're not standing on this side of the wall we're kind of standing on this so we have to adjust our angle right that means that the the wall extends like this so our click should actually be our click should be in this line here somewhere 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 here we just boom center our camera do the e oh i think i got knocked out knocked away because i bumped into it but yeah just walk into this wall do that click and there we go it's going to be infinite so pretty much every single wall like this avoid walls like this these walls these walls are quite hard to do because you can see it's not a flat surface it's very like it's very rigidy um you you do just want something like this like boom like this is good for us you know and this type of shit is really bad like this is just very hard to get it consistently i uh, get the right angle and obviously in game you only have so much time to line it up and actually do it and if you mess it up you know it's not worth it so yeah just avoid curved walls like the plague it is really really hard to do it on these walls it won't let you swing um you know it will if you're really good it will but it's a little bit hard i think um to find the angle biggest issue is you, you can't do step one it's very hard to glitch into the terrain it kind of stops you right outside the terrain you can see how my leg is not really like it's kind of in it but not really like i'm not really in the terrain it's very hard to stand flat into it and actually find an angle where you're uh you're you're part of the terrain and uh and we want to make sure that we are, we're standing in a spot so for example this would be a bad spot to do it in because you can see that we're not actually clipping into the wall like we're a bit too far away from the wall to do it so if we try to do it here it's not going to work so we've got to find a spot in the wall where we can actually clip into it um so this seems like a pretty good spot there and it's pretty flat as well it's reasonably flat like this would probably be the best spot right here uh, where you're in the wall but you're also kind of near the edge and uh you just go the e Ooh. 
Again, if you get knocked off like that, it means that you're clicking too too close to the wall. So you just got to adjust your click a little bit further. Yeah, that's the spot that we have to be in. Yeah, I don't know. That one's really bad. But obviously, you can still get the infinite swing if you understand the angles. But, um, you know, it's just too hard. So that that's why we want to avoid curved walls like this, guys. So you can still follow the same framework. You can do it on every single wall. You legit can do it on every single wall that has an edge. But the curved ones are very tricky. You can see it took me multiple attempts to get that one there. And it's just too hard. So just try to find flat walls. This one is perfect. This one's one of the best ones as well. You know, just you can do it on both sides. Um, just walk up to the edge again. If we get knocked off, then that means that we weren't... Um, we weren't clicking far enough away from the wall, um, or we weren't clicking at a at a 90 degree angle. So here, because the wall ends like this, our angle needs to be like this. So we're gonna, oops, there we go. So just if you're if you're getting knocked off, just again, practice makes perfect. Same thing at inhibitors and on turrets as well. Same logic. So we walk into the wall in a straight line. We're right near the edge, right? The edge is here. And where does this wall take us like this? So we want to click somewhere at a 90 degree line. So we get roughly a 90 degree angle. So just click anywhere there. Don't click too close to the wall. Don't click too far. Just kind of there, it's fine. Center our camera. And there we go. We're at the inhib, we're doing the infinite swing. The turrets as well. Um, you know, I'm not sure why you'd want to because I think at turrets you'd just rather do this swing. Like it's a little bit more, you know, you can be a little bit further away. And also it's a little bit more reliable, but you can absolutely, you know, use the same rule. We've walked into the turret. What is the angle, guys? The angle is like this. So obviously the wall is like this. So our angle will be 90 degrees. So we move our cursor somewhere in that 90 degree angle. And there we go. We've done it. So that's the end of the guide, guys. Uh, get the angles correctly and you'll be able to do it every single time. Uh, the first time I ever played Akshan was to actually do these infinite swings. I just saw somebody doing it on stream and I went into practice though and I was like, I want to be cool like him. You know, I want to be, um, I want to get the hang of this. And I just spent my first five hours first timing Akshan was in practice tool doing these swings. That's all I did. Um, he's also very strong on 14.8. So if you're looking for a new champion, you know, give him a go for sure. He's getting a little bit of a nerf in 14.9, nothing substantial, but the build's great. You know, the champ is strong. So... Yeah, definitely uh, give the swings a go and maybe you'll fall in love with them like I did.